The Corps of Engineers of the Indian Army has a long history dating back to the mid-18th century. The earliest existing subunit of the Corps 18 Field Company dates back to 1777 while the Corps officially recognizes its birth as 1780 when the senior most group of the Corps, the Madras Sappers were raised. The Corps consists of three groups of combat engineers, namely the Madras Sappers, the Bengal Sappers and the Bombay Sappers. A group is roughly analogous to a regiment of Indian infantry, each group consisting of a number of engineer regiments. The Engineer Regiment is the basic combat engineer unit, analogous to an infantry battalion. Besides the combat engineers, the Corps mans and operates major engineering organizations such as the Military Engineer Services the Border Roads Organization the Married Accommodation Project and the Survey of India, College of Military Engineering, Pune CME is the premier technical and tactical training institution of the Indian Army Corps of Engineers. History The Corps of Engineers is one of the oldest arms of the Indian Army. The origin of the Corps dates back to 1780 when the two regular pioneer companies were raised in the Madras Presidency Army. Subsequently, the group of Madras, Bengal and Bombay sappers were formed in their respective presidencies. These groups came together when the British Indian Army was formed after 1857 and were later merged on 18 November 1932 to form the Corps of Indian Engineers. Engineer groups initially consisted of field companies a sub-unit organization that exists to this day. Till 1911, the sappers also had the duty of passing battlefield messages. Between 1911 and 1920, they handed this task to a batch of their own kinsmen who then formed the Corps of Signals. The sappers also contributed the first batch of airmen when the Indian Air Force was raised in 1932. From 1942 to 1945 officers of the Indian Railways were recruited into this corps to participate in Britain's Burma campaign. Topic combat engineers in war Combat engineers provide mobility to own forces by constructing bridges, tracks and helipads, on the other hand the corps denies the same to the enemy by creating obstacles such as laying mine fields and demolition of bridges. The need for accurate survey arose before combat engineering. Vast holdings had to be carefully delineated and mapped out, to plan the correct form of commercial extraction. By 1780, serious attention began to be given to the art of sapping and mining. Forts abound in the subcontinent, and to the forts the main defences withdrew for a protracted stand. On being invested, the siege heavy artillery including trench mortars or bombards went at it. The real work, not for the faint-hearted, went to the sappers who had to do the sapping or mining. Sapping is the technique of accurately digging trenches, usually covered or zigzag, to cover one's approach to the point of assault. Corps of Engineers played a very important role on Op VJ the Kargil War. The major engineer regiments which very actively took part were 108 Engineer Regiment as a part of 08 Mountain Division, 02 Engineer Regiment as a part of 03 Mountain Division, 106 Engineer Regiment as a part of 15 Corps and 112 Engineer as a part of 92 Mountain Brigade during operation then subsequently became the part of newly raised 14 Corps. The action areas and the commanding officers of these Engineer Regiments are appended below. 1. 108 Engar. Rect. Commanded by Colonel Rohit Mohan Chowdhury, and the Rect, operated in Dras Sector under 08 Mountain. Div. The unit was awarded Theatre Honor to 02 Engar. Rect. Commanded by Colonel Krishnan, and operated initially in Dras Sector then Chor Batala and Siachen Sector under 03 Mountain. Div. The unit was awarded Theatre Honor 3. 106 Engar. Rect. Commanded by Kol Ips. Ahuja and operated in Dras and Kargil Sector under 16 Core HQ. The unit was awarded COAS Unit Citation of War 4. 112 Engar. Rect. Commanded by Col N. B. Saxena and operated in Daha and Ganasak sector under 92 Mountain. BDE, as brought in for operations from 33 Corps located from Supna. The unit was awarded COAS Unit Citation of War. Topic military Engineer Services Main article, Military Engineer Services The Military Engineer Services, or the MES, are responsible for the design, construction and maintenance of all works, buildings, airfields, dock installations, etc., together with accessory services such as military roads, water and electricity supply, drainage, refrigeration, furniture, required by the Army, Navy, Air Force and Coast Guard in India. It is one of largest construction and maintenance agencies in India with a total annual budget to the tune of 13,000 crore rupees. 
It has a large number of units and subunits spread across the entire country to provide engineering support to various formations of Army, Air Force, Navy and DRDO. MES is an inter-services organization under Min of Defense and has both Army and civilian component of officers mainly IDSE and other subordinate staff. <laughs> Border Roads Organization The Border Roads Organization consists of Border Roads Development Board and GREF. BRDB is headed by the Defence Minister of India as its Chairman and Chief of Army and Air Staff and Defence Secretary as its members and there are other members also and GREF is headed by Lieutenant General of Corps of Engineers known as DGBR. BRO has made its own contribution to the nation by constructing national highways, airfields, buildings and bridges. The border roads, by constructing a large number of roads in once inaccessible areas of the Himalayas, Rajasthan and northeast states have contributed significantly to their economic development. Topic: Decorations. Lieutenant Gen P S Bhargat of the Corps remains the first Indian officer to have won the Victoria Cross in the Second World War. Another first in the same war, Subedar Subramanian, was awarded the George Cross. Later, during operations in Kashmir soon after independence, Major Rama Raghoba Rain was awarded the Param Vir Chakra for making a passage through enemy mine fields while crawling in front of a tank. Engineer units have been deployed abroad as part of UN missions. The Corps of Engineers has to its credit one Param Vir Chakra, one Ashoka Chakra, one Padma Bhushan, 38 Param Vishisht Siva medals, two Maha Vir Chakras, 13 Kirti Chakras, three Padma Shris, 88 ATI Vishisht Siva medals, 25 Vir Chakras, 93 Shaurya Chakras, six Yudh Siva medals and many other awards. Nine Engineer Regiment became one of the youngest engineer regiment in world history to enter the battlefield and got as many as 12 decorations including 01 Mahavir Chakra, 03 Ver Chakra, 04 Sina Medal, 04 Mention in Dispatch at the Battle of Basanta in 1971. 107 Engineer Regiment gained an Indian Institute of Bridging Engineers Award for constructing a bridge in Himachal Pradesh in 2001. 268 Engineer Regiment was raised in 1964. As of 2009 it is based somewhere in the western sector. 69 Engineer Regiment was raised in 2005. As of 2006 it is based at Chandigarh. Engineer Regiments that served with the Indian Peace Keeping Force in Sri Lanka included the 3, 4, 8, 16, 51, 53, 110, 115 and 270. See also Trishna Yacht First Indian Circumnavigation <laughs>